a few of you wanted to see inside the slightly tacky little looking 12 volt um, half an amp supply, the little 6 watt driver. This is a um, regulated voltage driver, it's not a current regulated driver, it puts out a standard 12 volt supply. So let's uh, pop it open and it's for driving things like LED tape or, or small groups of LED lamps that operate at 12 volts. So let's uh, get rid of that. Inside, first thing that I notice here, well let's take a look at the separation. The separation is okay, it's about, I'd say that's about 3 millimeters, and where it comes the closest down here, there is an anti-tracking slot. So it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Um, the secondary from the transformer does look like it uses uh, thicker insulation in the wires. It's not just standard lacquered copper wire. So that's uh, another a good feature. Um, the rectification on the secondary side is basically going through this one diode and this, uh, this capacitor here for smoothing. Looks as though it may have another little... Um, I see an optimizer here. It looks like it may have another of this, those little... Um, uh, what's the word for them? Um, voltage threshold detectors that's programmable. Uh, don't see many resistors on there. I see quite a few resistors underneath those. That's uh, what they'll be for, amongst other things. A few surface mount components on this side as well, but not too many. Okay. Um, everything's quite tightly packed here, so they've put a bit of plasticised cardboard in to stop things shorting out. The capacitor is a 400 volt, 6.8 microfarad. I only see one diode in the immediate vicinity of that. I can see another diode here, but that's part of the snubber network across the uh, transformer primary. More anti-tracking slots, which is good, wherever the, there's stuff that's uh, right next to each other that's uh, got the mains potential between it. The chip. That's where we gander at that. I'll use my phone again. So I shall use the magnifying function. And the chip number, let's see if I can get this to focus. Is a DLO 165R. And that's a, that's a Fairchild chip. That's pretty much, with this. is that not the same chip that was in the 18 watt unit, but a different version in the family? Um, I think that was probably the same little dedicated switch mode driver, I don't see the paperwork, I've put it away somewhere. Um, but it will be a different version with different uh, current handling capability and different thresholds for um, overload protection. So this little capacitor, if that's the case, and that diode down there, will form the power supply for this chip. It is just a single diode bridge rectifier in this, which is a wee bit bleh. And that chip will do most of the things. So, you know, although, they've, although it's very small, it's actually not too bad. I, I'd rather it was a full wave bridge rectifier, but then again, it's not a super high load. And they have just tried to save space, a wee bit too much space, I think. They could have spread this out a wee bit more. But having said that, it, for a power supply of this size, it really isn't actually too bad. It, it looks a reasonable enough design that looks as though it's got proper isolation. So yes, I'm guessing that will be the TL431 um, type uh, chip. Yes, I think it is. Which is what you'd expect, really, along with uh, from this range of uh, power supplies. They all seem to be from a common supplier. But yeah, that you know, it's not as bad as I was expecting. It's actually fairly acceptable.